Hey, what's up, YouTube? And welcome to my first comic book pickup slash haul video. <clears throat> and real quick, I just want to say, you know, thank you to to everybody that's been watching my videos and to everybody that subscribed. Um, it's really awesome. Like, I, 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 to be honest, I didn't think anybody would even watch my videos, <laughs> let alone um, subscribe to my channel. So just thank you to everybody and I mean I'm yeah that's just really cool and definitely want to give a big shout out to Mercenaut Hero 181 and Klaus Schnell um just for basically you know just more or less welcome me into this uh really awesome comic book community so big thank you to you guys um you guys are awesome and thanks a lot so let's get this video started and the first books I picked up were Amazing Spider-Man 362 and 363. Now, I went ahead and picked these up because I you know I already have 361, so I figured, you know, why not why not complete the rest of it and get the other books. So and speaking of Carnage, here's some more Carnage stuff I picked up. I went ahead and got all 14 parts of uh, the Maximum Carnage series, which pretty much spans throughout all of the Spider-Man books. And uh, I've got to say, these books are probably, you know, definitely near mint. And just fucking love these covers, man. They're, they're so awesome. So glad to have this. You know, Web Spider-Man 102, Amazing Spider-Man 379. Spider-Man 36, Spectacular 202, Web 103, Amazing 380, Spider-Man 37, Spectacular 203, and the last part, Spider-Man Unlimited number two. So, yeah, really, really happy to have those books. Fucking awesome storyline. <clears throat> Next book I picked up was... Strange Tales number 179, um, I figured, you know, I got 178 and I got 180, so I just went ahead and picked this up. I'm definitely, definitely want to get more Warlock books, um, especially the second Thanos saga stuff, really on the lookout for those. And speaking of Thanos, I got uh, also Infinity Gauntlet number one. Now this I actually didn't buy. Uh, my buddy went to a comic book uh, store liquidation sale. He ended up by picking up a whole stack of these for a dollar each. So he ended up by giving me this copy, the best one out of the bunch, for free. So that's awesome. And the next books I'm going to show are a couple books that I picked up with Curse in it. Now these take place directly after... Secret Wars 2, number 4, where Beyonder turns Algrim into Curse, which is his first appearance. And this is uh, Thor 363 and Power Pack 18. So, you know, I, I just picked them up. Why not? I like that cover, too. It looks really cool. Next book I picked up <clears throat> is Wonder Woman 105. Now, this is the first appearance of... Cassie Sandsmark, who is Wonder Girl in the Teen Titans. So, yeah, I got it for a good deal. So, uh, I figured why not pick it up. Not, I don't have any Wonder Woman keys, so I went ahead and got it. Now, I believe the next issue, 106, or maybe 107, don't quote me on that. But one of the issues right after this um, is where she actually becomes Wonder Girl, so definitely a book I need to pick up to go with this, but it's cool that I have that. Let's get into some Guardian stuff now that I picked up. This right here is Star-Lord Special Edition number one. Um, yeah, I, I, I found it for two bucks and said, you know, fuck it, why not? It, every, anything Guardians right now is just hot, so... Yeah, pick that up to go with my the rest of my Guardian stuff. Now, this next book also has to do with the Guardians, and this one's really cool. Um, 
this one basically look, check this one out Merce not uh, you'll definitely want to get this book this is a uh, Hulk annual number five now this is actually the second appearance of Groot so this is a really cool book to have to go with your Guardian stuff and I also I also believe I'm not sure but I think this is the second appearance of these all these other guys right here who were also in those early Tales to Astonish books so I'm not sure but I think so so yeah don't quote me on that one but definitely definitely worth a pick up especially if you're collecting Guardian stuff um, next book I got was Green Lantern Corps number 201 um, this is the first appearance of Kilowog. Yeah, um, Green Lantern, hands down, he's definitely, well, Hal Jordan, he's definitely my, my favorite character of all time. Not just DC, but just period. And my goal is basically to collect all Green Lantern keys. So, I mean, if anybody's got a, a Green Lantern 59, first appearance of Guy Gardner, and they're willing to sell it for a decent price, man, let me know, because, uh, dude, I want that book bad, so, yeah. Now, this next book, this is some more Green Lantern stuff, um, I picked up Tales of the Green Lantern Corps, number one, number two, and number three. Now, the significance of these are, if you guys read the Blackest Night storyline. If you remember Necron, the main villain in that, this is actually his first storyline. And this right here, this Green Lantern or two, is actually his very first appearance. So that's why I pretty much picked these up. And to note real quick, also this Green Lantern number one, um, it's got a lot of first appearances of a lot of minor Green Lantern Corps um, characters. But one to really note, if you guys have been reading uh, Green Lantern Corps, you know, recently, um, this is actually Arisia's first appearance. Um, <clears throat> she's the little the little blonde elf-looking girl that's in the Green Lantern Corps. So, yeah, this is her first appearance as well. Really happy to, to have these books. And last book I'm going to show is another Green Lantern book. And continuing with uh, the Blackest Night theme, I went ahead and I got Green Lantern number 29. Now, this is the first appearance of Black Hand. And, dude, <laughs> I am so happy to have this book. I mean, an old Green Lantern Silver Age. And they have it marked as a fine. Let's see right there. They have it marked as a fine, but... Dude, I mean, after inspecting this book, man, uh, I think they really, really undergraded this book. I mean, it's fucking beautiful. Um, I'd, I'd actually say a fine plus to, I'd even go VF minus. Um, the book is just gorgeous. I mean, I love the cover. Love, I'm, I've been loving me some Silver Age books. So, yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so happy I got this book. So. All right, uh, that's going to do it for now. Um, this is about half of the books I picked up from uh, off the internet. Um, the other half are still coming in. So once the rest of those come in, I'll probably do another bid. Um, yeah, so thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you later.